we take a closer look at the number one player in the world, how he got there, and how he hopes to stay there in today's episode. Welcome, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host, Galadon, and in today's exciting Clash of Clans episode, we take a closer look at the number one Legend League players strategy. That is my good buddy, Boom, who I have met several times, hung out with in Helsinki, Poland, and more. Right now, he is absolutely destroying Legend League, and we're going to take a close look at the strategy. So if you want, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, turn on notifications, and even leave a like or a comment for the YouTube algorithm. Always be prepared for updates. Also, make sure you follow Boom on Twitter at B-U-M-M-C-O-C. He also streams on Twitch at B-U-M-M underscore C-O-C. Yes, Boom, ready to share his strategies with the world. In today's episode, we focus on offense, but yes, it's true. If we get enough people liking this episode, I will break out the defensive replays. We will check out Boom's defensive Legend League base and even provide a link for you guys. So please let me know by leaving a like if that's something you would like to see covered in a future episode. In the meantime, okay, so we're breaking down what is going to be Queen Charge Lalo with a Flame Flinger. Now this makes sense because obviously air is pretty much the meta of the day, but, and it's a big but, Going in with Sui Hero Lalo, which is likely the most popular strategy right now throughout the World Championship play, CWL, Champion 1, and Elite Clan Wars, is risky. It's very risky because you're counting on, usually, with those heroes without healers, getting in and taking out a Town Hall, which, if you don't see the base ahead of time, which you're not in Legend League, it definitely leaves you in a troubled spot. So that is why we're seeing the healers. It does make sense. I like it a lot. And obviously it's been extremely successful as Boom has had many, many perfect Legend League days leading up to his number one spot as of the making of this video. But of course the lead is precarious and the league is contentious. And no doubt we are going to see a few changes of hands, but it would be cool to see Boom all on his own finishing up there on top. Of course, we know there has been some, you know, controversy, some collusion going on as far as the top clans, top players sometimes possibly being accused of win trading. We know that's not happening with Boom. He's pushing right here all by his lonesome and wiping out base after base after fully maxed out base. But let's get into these next couple of attacks and actually take a close look at the strategy he is using because it is amazing okay it is a lot of fun to watch because it's just so well executed it really comes down to three things beautiful funneling for all of the troops the heroes and the balloons getting the maximum value out of that queen charge and of course spell timing and placement if you get those three things you're going to be as good as boom guaranteed oh okay maybe not quite but you're on your way those are the essentials so watch as Boom is using the Archer Queen to clear the way for that Flame Flinger, to make sure the Flame Flinger is not going to get damaged by other defenses early, and that way it gets maximum value. Watch how long in each of these attacks the Flame Flinger sticks around, and then the Archer Queen, she's going to get moving on towards her target, which in this case is right down the middle of the core of this base, not after the Town Hall specifically yet, and look at that Town Hall, way off on the far side, such confidence right here. Many of us, of course, going for that safe two-star, but you do not get to the top of the Legend League leaderboards by going for two stars. I'm sorry, it's not even going to get you close. You've got to be dropping multiple, if not eight, three-star attacks a day, many days, if you want to get in there and do it. Here comes the Archer Queen on our way in towards the core again and now you've got the barbarian king and the royal champion grand warden on the left hand side they are going to suey their way in after that town hall and make sure they wipe out the town hall as again the flame flinger on the right hand side and then the archer queen down the middle and again you can see that this is that old story and we've talked about this many many times of getting about 50 percent on a base before the lalo portion begins and that's just about where we are right now. The Archer Queen with multiple super wall breakers finds herself all the way in after the Eagle Artillery, the Clan Castle, and that centered multi-Fargate Inferno. 
And then as the balloons get deployed, it's always the part that kind of confuses me. Dropping a few here, a few there, boom, very carefully, very deliberately, making sure those balloons follow a specific path, get maximum value out of the spells, and then in come the minions to clean up behind. The Archer Queen, once again, is going to live all the way to the end of the attack, and boom is just going to completely annihilate another fully maxed out base. And remember, at this high of a trophy level in Legend League, not only are you A, seeing maxed out base after maxed out base, but two, amazing and unique base designs that these Legend League players are rotating through on virtually a daily basis because you've got to keep innovating and changing so that you don't get annihilated. And that is one of the beautiful things about upper level Legend League is it's as much about defending as it is attacking. Okay, let's get in and watch the final attack from Boom today. And notice this player not currently in a clan, you would find that kind of unusual at the very highest level of the game. And I'm not accusing killer number three of doing this, but you know, players do sometimes leave their clans of high level players so that maybe one of their teammates might find them in Legend League and go easy on them. All right, let's get into the attack itself and notice right away the funneling for the Archer Queen. This has helped me get better as a player watching these other utility troops. And then, of course, the absolutely flawless timing of the Headhunter rolling in and helping to take out the defending Archer Queen. Gotta love the way that Boom confidently gets his Archer Queen in every single time, not necessarily after the Town Hall, but in the general direction, right? He wanted her to head counterclockwise and get some value yet stay alive working her way to the core those high value defenses watch for another deeply penetrating super wall breaker momentarily that I, I don't know I mean I guess if you carefully plan these things and watch you'll know where they're going to go all the way into this next maxed out wall just a split second too late as the archer queen turns around but notice what it did do and that was activate the defensive clan castle so maybe a couple of purposes from that single super wall breaker and yet eventually the archer queen should head towards the core the multi-target inferno and that scatter shot as once again we see the king the warden heading in after the town hall and then dealing with uh, that that free spell okay that free spell was amazing and just a reminder to always grab the maximum value you can even if the other defenses seem like they're not an issue at the moment you'll notice the archer queen was out of range of the other defenses he froze them anyway because she did move in range and the free spell was effective and definitely saved some damage to the heroes. Okay, now we see a little earlier than the previous attacks, the balloons move in at under 40% damage, but the Archer Queen, again, getting max value, finally now going to work on the Lava Hound, and this time a Stone Slammer moves in, and that's just one of those on-the-fly 300 IQ decisions that the pros have to make, and that is which is going to get more value, which is going to live longer, which is going to help me grab that third star, and this time the Stone Slammer is on on its way to help just annihilate everything the eagle surprisingly dealt with as one of the final defenses and that just goes to show you the earlier attacks the town hall was on the far side here the eagle is on the far side and again is never an issue offense if executed properly right now is so strong so much stronger than defense but you know Again, I think that the balance is pretty much there. Maybe it's a little bit too easy in Legend League because then you find yourself on defense getting annihilated. But I also like the fact that it's smaller movements up at the top as far as big trophy gains and losses when you're that high in trophies. So yes, it is exciting to watch. It is so cool to see Boom up there. And we are, of course, probably, hopefully going to share his defense layout, some defenses, what is and is not working up there and maybe even a link. So please, again, you guys leave a like on the video and we will get that out to you soon. Thank you, Galifam, for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. You know you are the true hashtag Galifam and that is why I love thinking about it and appreciate every single one of you every single day. So get out there, make the best rest of your day, week, month, and year. Be kind to the people. I will supply. I'll see you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. You remember, I've been up there too. I've been number one before. I could do it again if I wanted.